Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing well. So I missed a day of filming because we had one of my nephews had his choir or Christmas concert last night. I wanted to be present and in the moment with family. So I came home from work, let the dog out, fed him, did everything like that, and then went and spent some time with family. So by the time I got home, you know, life gets in the way. You're tired. You're getting ready for work the next day and all that goodness. Um, so I didn't film a video. So I apologize. I hope you guys can forgive me. Um, a lot going on. We are getting so close to the holiday season, like the holiday. Um, my dad's birthday. We just got tons of things coming and going. So anyways, I have a post burn review for four candles. I know I had some requests um, to put the information down in the description box. I'll try to remember to do that, but keep in mind I work full time. This is not my job. So I get as much information as I can in the videos, like in the timing of these. I tell you all of these candles, what their names are, their codes, if we feel like it's applicable. Um, so just remember that I'm trying to get better at providing as much information as I can for you guys. Still waiting on my Scentsy order for Scent and Warmer of the Month. I don't get it. I I must be the last one to get the shipment. It is what it is. So we're going to start off with my dud. And my dud is Hot Buttered Rum. Um, I could not smell this candle when it was burning. And I cannot smell it now. It's very, very faint. Um, when I was burning this candle, I should show you, it mushroomed out. I let it pool and I had it lit for about two hours in our bedroom. And our bedroom is a small room. It's not a huge open concept. I could not smell this. Um, it had no lingering effect. I'm not saying this is a horrible candle, but I like my candles. I like to smell them when I walk into the room and I just could not smell it. So the scent notes, allegedly, are dark, dark buttered rum warm caramel, mulling spices, and vanilla bourbon. Definitely get no spices. I smell nothing of that sort. I, I probably would not pick this candle up again. I think the packaging is super cute. It's very festive, but you guys know I like to be 100% honest with you. Um, this to me was a waste of my dinero and I just... I mean, my um, butterscotch toffee is 1 million times better than this. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have burned this and if you could smell it. Maybe it's my batch. My code is 9289M8D1J. It's <laughs> a lot. Anyways, um, I burned this one time. I'm good. I, I'm just being 100%. Now, this candle I picked up on a whim on Candle Day, A Thousand Wishes. I think the packaging is super adorable. I burned this one three days in a row, and I told you guys, oh, and just like that, Jazzy Sue, she has come to join us. Can you say hello, people? Her tail says hello. Um, I picked up one of these for my niece, Brianna. No issues with the wax. It's just a little bubbling there, but it's probably how I blew it out, um, really great candle. I had this lit in our bedroom and oh my gosh, it smelled so pretty. It was a very light scent, very, um, and I don't mean light in the throw department. It's just very feminine. Um, it threw like a seven for me in the room. And so the scent notes are sparkling champagne, crystal peonies, and almond cream. I don't know why almond cream surprises me every time I read that. That is funny. But it does smell good. I was very, very happy with this candle. So I was kind of thinking I should have picked up one more. <laughs> Maybe I'll uh, steal my nieces. I don't know. But my code. Oh, one of you asked a very, very good question. When we are reading codes off the bottom of the candle. So this first set of numbers here, not these doubles down here. But it's kind of hard. That first set of numbers. 9 stands for 2019 and 295 stands for the day that it was poured. So the 295th day. And then the other codes I think are just filler codes. I don't know what those letters or numbers stand for. But the first four numbers are the year and the date that it was poured. Just for you that were asking, this is a great candle. I think this is an all year round scent. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, 
he's Jake is rolling around and Jazz is teasing him. So if you hear the animals, I apologize. Um, you could burn this candle year round, a seven in the throw department. I actually had it lit on our bedroom and then the one bathroom's on the other side of the hallway and I could smell it going towards my bedroom. So this one was a great candle. I really, really enjoyed that. I think Brianna will too. Now this candle surprised me <laughs> and this is the red velvet cupcake. It's in that same packaging as the hot buttered rum. Um, I burned this candle three days in a row and it smells like the New York cherry cheesecake. So the scent notes are different and it's very close to the frosted cake pop, which I don't see. I don't have one here in this room, um, which was a failed test candle from last season. Um, last Christmas, lush red velvet cake, cream cheese frosting and sweet vanilla with essential oils. My code is 9289A3A2. It So on cold, it's a little bit different. Um, nothing wrong with this. It burned and pulled out perfect. The wicks are great. They've got that white centered. Oh, Jazz is going to knock down the light. Sorry about that. It's a lot of closeness. Um, but I mean, I, it, I was kind of on the fence about burning this candle. I thought it was going to smell like cheesecake and then I was going to be like, Bleh, sending all of them back, but there's no creamy cheese, no cheese scent when this is burning. It reminded me a lot of the New York cherry cheesecake, but not as strong. So probably like a four or five in the throw department. So the room you're in is about the, you know, the filling of the candle will scent up that part if that made any sense at all. But I mean, I'm not mad at it because it didn't smell like cheesecake. So I was kind of surprised. I So I lit it and I was like waiting and I'm like, oh my God, it's going to stink. It's going to stink. And then I went over to it and I was like, oh, that's not bad. It reminds me a lot of the Frosted Cake Pop, the New York Cherry Cheesecake. And I keep looking at it like you can see it. They're sitting over there. You can't. But yeah, that was a great candle. I'm not mad at this at all. I kind of enjoyed it. Um, I'll burn it. You'll see it in the empties video. What are you doing? She, so I got home from uh, my corporate office and our furnace wasn't working. A friend came over and he helped us get it working. So the house is just now warming up. And you know, I don't mind being cold, but it's supposed to get really cold here tonight in Michigan. Um, so I was like afraid for them. I know they're covered in hair, but I was like, I don't want them to be freezing cold. You know, I worry about my kids. Now, somebody told me that this candle smells amazing and I burned it for about an hour and that's all it needed because it completely filled the whole upstairs of my house and that is sun drenched linen. I think that this is going to be a perfect candle for spring and summer. So no issues. I mean, the wax got a little murky from, you know, sooting or whatever. But this candle, literally the minute it started pooling, I could smell it. And that's what I want in a candle. I want to be able to walk into my house and say, hmm, we have sun, sun drenched linen burning. That's how I want all my candles to be. So if you want a candle that is a 910 in the throw department and you can smell it even after you've blown it out, she's really looking for some attention. I apologize. She is like all over me. So the scent notes are cool cotton, crisp apple, soft musk with essential oils. And my code is 9312G3A1. God bless you. He's sneezing on us. Um, And I love the glass on here. How it's like a darker teal to a lighter teal. It is so pretty. So... I had this lit in our landing, like we have like a half wall when you go upstairs into our bedrooms. And so I had it lit there and I literally could smell it coming down the stairs. I could smell it in my bathroom, my bedroom. And that's what we want. We want candles that evoke scent and you can smell them. So if you want a candle that is going to fill your whole entire house, this is it. Now, if you have a studio apartment, I got cat hair everywhere. This is real life, folks. If you want, oh, if you have a smaller home or a studio apartment, like I don't know that this would be the candle for you because it is so strong and this is kind of headache inducing. That's why I feel like it would be good for like spring or fall when you can have your windows open and you got fresh air flowing through the house. 
I think this is a great candle for that. It smells like you're doing all kinds of laundry, which is always a good thing. Um, but I think right now that we're getting ready, it's literally getting ready to be winter. I don't know that this is a candle that you want to burn right now. Maybe if you were like spring cleaning and you wanted like that clean fever, I don't know, something like that. But I do like this candle. I am giving it a thumbs up. It's a great candle. So there you have it. Four more post burn reviews. I wanted to get these out for you guys. Like I said, I have some Scentsy videos coming. I'll take a couple days break for the Christmas holiday. And then we're going to get right back to it. I hope you guys are doing good. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.